All right, well, uh, the project is not done yet. Uh, I think you guys are probably getting tired of seeing the same <laughs> background, right? Well, but what's good is we're gonna add some color today. We're gonna finish up all the little things. And by, like, by the end of the day, I'm really hoping we're like this close to being done. <laughs> like, So um, I spent like all day yesterday filling holes and finishing priming everything, which again makes no difference at all. Like it looks no different, no. but uh, we're ready for paint now. So we're gonna finish painting the walls and the tongue and groove. Tom has just some like minute miscellaneous punch list items to get done. But also um, our- Dawn found some really killer wallpaper that is not coming. Well, who knows? It's not coming. So we're at that point where it's like, okay, we just have to cut our losses on the wallpaper and figure out another solution so we can get this done. I found a stencil and I'm gonna try and recreate kind of my own wallpaper look. So it actually, when you when you told me that you were gonna stencil the walls, it was like flashback. We stenciled way back when we were really young, oh. like our 4-H projects, like on little wood projects we would build and there's a little heart and a little house and like, I'm sure you've all seen it before. I've never seen it. Anyway, well that's because you didn't do craft projects growing sure up. Didn't. So I feel like stenciling has come a ways though, like a long ways. We're gonna do some variation so it looks cool. Exactly like what you ordered only for free. Kind of. So well not, not free, free, the yeah. paint cost and the stencil, but so I don't know. So I'll show you what I'm thinking. You can let me know what you think if you think it's a horrible idea idea or not. Let's get started. I'm gonna get Tom to work on his little projects and then I'm My gonna little, little I'm gonna project. show you Sorry, not with, <laughs> anyway, whatever. Belittling um, my projects? Important. No, I'm kidding. Very important projects. And I'm gonna show you what I've been testing out with the stencil and where I'm at right now for that. So I'm not worried in the least. Well, good, Tom's not worried. This is like a first, so. Not if Tom's worried. not worried, I hope you're not worried either, so. Probably won't right. even notice. <laughs> yeah, right. So, so do you wanna film me putting this piece in? <laughs> uh, what, why are we laughing? Because um, I I think it. this should go in on the first try. It's quite the puzzle piece you had to cut out. Yep, yeah, I think it should it should be fine. All right, let's see it. All right. Do you need and your you drill? Me. I, I, uh, my I did not. I did not. drill now. <laughs> Didn't doubt you at all, <laughs> actually. No, I'm talking about them. Oh. They, they <laughs> Yes. You gonna say what you said? I said, wow, this looks so nice after staring at open studs for three months. And I said, see, my plan is working. <laughs> Put up one piece of sheetrock and you're like a king. <laughs> so you've been intentionally stretching out this project so that you could have all these wins? Just saying, oh. if it works, it works. Then I need to stop saying <laughs> how good anything looks until it's done. All right, two can play at this game. <laughs> Okay, so here is the stencil that I ordered off of Amazon. I really liked the the design, and then I liked like the size of the images too. So I think that's a good scale. And I just have a bunch of different paint colors that I'm gonna try and work with. And so I'll show you what I've done so far. So this is the fern leaf, but I wanna add a little more variation to it, kind of like this leaf. And then I did one flower in like blue. I used a little bit of this shade of blue, but then also our actual cabinet color. Um, but it, it might be just a little dark. And then I wondered what it would look like to actually bring in some of that mustard color. The only problem is that when it's thinned out, it gets a little bit kind of like light yellow looking and not so mustardy, but um, I kind of like how that turned out too. So one option would be just to use the fern and just do a pattern of the fern leaf or to actually use all three of the designs of the stencil. So this wall is just primered right now. I need to paint over it the wall color, but I was trying to test it out. Okay, Tom wanted to give stenciling a shot. So, oh, you're, are you using brown? <laughs> oh, goodness. I have to put some brown underneath, so when I sand through my color, it gets nice, <laughs> you get a I get a nice patina looking flower. Oh, no. I had told them my paint palette colors are up there. This this worries me. And then you told me to move the stencil away from <laughs> your flowers. It's just that I am gonna like 
paint over this, but I'm worried that this isn't gonna cover. <laughs> <laughs> you like the green? Yeah. It's your favorite color, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, now you're getting some nice variation there. I may have looked at yours. <laughs> Can't wait till I peel this off and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that I made fun of you. <laughs> we'll, we'll just see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we will. <laughs> You gotta be careful with art, Tom, because it's you reach that point where if you go too far, oh, okay, yeah. Too far. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Corbin, I'm making green. Ah, oh, shoot, my brown is going away. Dang it! <laughs> see, everyone thinks oh, stenciling's so easy. It's abstract. <laughs> okay, let's see. So there's Tom's. <sighs> It kind of has a camouflage look to it, I think. <laughs> so I want to get like, kind of like, figure out for sure what I want to do, and then, then I'll just paint over this, and I'll and I'll do this whole wall with it. All right, so we have to extend these bottom two steps out a little bit further. By we, I mean Tom. Yeah. <laughs> so I got longer treads, but I gotta, I gotta build an frame it out a little bit. It. And then uh, the question came up, what are we going to do with the steps? We are eventually going to carpet them, um, but... We're going to put a runner board up the sides. Yeah, we'll so trim it out. that's why they're all short. Like, if anyone wonders, that's why it's short. Because yeah. the runner board actually goes down. Yep. Next to here. Mm -hmm. And straight up the sides of each side, and then it'll get carpeted. Yeah. And we're going to do carpet because it's quieter, it's cheaper, and, and it's so soft and snuggly. You know, in Minnesota, we have we have enough cold floors. Um, but also, if the kids would slip going down, and they're a little gentler too. So we're gonna hopefully find like kind of a cool patterned carpet. But that's the plan. Hey, maybe you could stencil it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna um, chalk paint it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I have been playing around with the stenciling, trying to get it figured out, and I think I have. A good idea of the best way to make it work. So I have my three different shades of green paint. This uh, celery color is what I'm kind of using for the bulk of the fern leaf. And then I have a bit, little bit of a medium green and a dark green. And so I really like this medium green, so I'm trying to work a little bit more of that into it, but still using this for a base. The other thing I read was to use a gel medium with it, and it just helps the colors to blend better and to make it not dry out so quickly so you can work with it a little bit more. And I want to go for kind of that watercolor effect, and so this has been really helpful to make the colors blend in a way that look more watercolor. When I was just doing it with the stencil brush, it kind of had that stipple effect, and it was hard to really blend it because it dried out so quickly. This has made it so the colors don't get too dark, but I can still blend them all. So this has been really awesome. Okay, so then for the fern leaf, I get it taped in place where I want it to be. And I'm using about equal parts of the light paint and the gel medium. And basically I'm just covering the whole pattern, the whole leaf. And then I'm gonna go back and add in my darker colors. And so that seems to be what's working the best so far <laughs> for an amateur here. <laughs> And so I like to start in the middle of the design and then work my way out to the edges. And if you have a stencil brush and you're doing it straight down, I haven't had any problems with it leaking underneath the stencil. I did read that you can also use spray adhesive on it. And I did that for a little bit, but I didn't really feel like I need to do it. All right, so once I have it all covered with the light color, then I'm gonna take a little bit of the gel medium and the darker green, the middle shade of green, and go back and I'm just gonna start at the bottom and kind of work my way up. I like how it looks the best when this green color is kind of in the middle and then goes out a little bit. And the trick is to not blend it too much because then you lose kind of the contrast of it. And then the last step is to do just a little bit of a swirl motion to just kind of blend it just a little bit and that's how you get the the watercolor effect and less of that stippled sponge painted look which is what i don't actually want <laughs> and the good news is this is very forgiving like you it's, it's really hard to mess up 
And then I put just a little bit of the darkest color on here and I'm gonna add just a hint of that to the bottom edges. All right, and now the really gratifying part, we are gonna peel it off. So this one turned out pretty good. I could have, it's a little uneven maybe with how the darker green spread out, but you know, whatever. It's not meant to be perfect. <laughs> And then the other thing I'm trying to do is every like five leaves or so is to wash it off and then flip it over so that we can have the leaves going both ways just to give it a little more variation. Okay, so here's where I'm at so far. Just getting the fern leaves all done and then I'll go back and add the other ones. And then over on this wall, I've done some on the bottom and some on the top, but I'm leaving the ones for the sides of the window because I know those are going to be tricky. All right, so I've been stenciling away. I think some of you are going to be like, you should have stopped with the ferns. You went a little bit too far now because I've been adding flowers to the pattern, but I like them and I like how it's turning out, so <laughs> I'll show you. So I had to paint over a couple that I messed up and I have to redo those still, but this is what it's looking at. I'm not done yet. I still have some more flowers to fill in. And I kind of don't like, do you see how these fern leaves made like a swirling <laughs> pattern kind of? I think I'm gonna um, paint over this one too and, and redo that. Otherwise, I like it and I think it's, looking cool it's looking like what i wanted so that's the main thing so that wall's easy because it's big and there's room you know to do like full um like full parts of the stencil now on this window wall i'm getting to the parts where i'm having to like bend the stencil and kind of like you know fold it to make it work and that's it's fine it's just taking more time it's kind of tedious so that part's not as fun or gratifying, but I don't know, now that I can see the big picture, it's worth it, it's coming along, and I'm glad that I did it. Oh, when I, when I painted my flower? Yeah. That you painted over? Tom's feelings are hurt because I painted over his flower. I painted over some of my flowers, too. Yeah, I know, but I only painted like... one, so mine was extra special, so it's kind of rude to paint over it, don't you think? Um... How about you guys tell her if it was or not? <laughs> yeah. Or if you want Tom to come to your house and paint some flowers. <laughs> no, here's the deal. I'm getting ready to paint a vehicle. Okay. Man. So... So can I come and like... No, okay, so that's what I was going to okay. say. So I'm getting ready to paint the vehicle. I don't actually want your help in the least, so yeah. I'm not offended. Okay, so we're even? <laughs> totally good. good. We're good. See? We're good. All right, so um, I knew this was going to happen. I don't like to generally predict things happening, but, or be like, oh, that always happens to me. But I was like almost done with the stenciling and I got the email notification that the wallpaper is supposed to be here later today. But I'm really happy with how the stenciling turned out. The part way through, I was like, this was a horrible idea. What was I thinking? Now that it's all together, I really like it. And what do you think? I think it's awesome. The beauty of it is Dawn is extremely creative. Uh, and she's very talented, as I think we all know. But, like, it's just, I mean, you look at the flowers and the leaves, and they're all very consistent. I was like, holy cow, that's amazing. You did all of those by hand, and it looks like you probably could have just, like, copied them all around. It was a little bit tedious. So, at one, the fern leaves especially, and so at one point I'm like, I wonder how long it's taking per leaf. <laughs> You put it, it was four minutes and 20 seconds, but Adeline came and talked to me during that, so I think it might have slowed it down. So I'm thinking around four minutes for the fern leaves, which that felt like it took a long time. But I'm glad I did those first, and then the flowers went a lot quicker. So I thought it worked out well to get the fern leaves in place and then go back and do the flowers. Um, I don't know. I think it looks awesome. I'm happy with it. We, we're not quite done with the wall around the window. I just have a few more on the sides um, to do those are the hard ones. But otherwise, we're pretty much done. Tom's been putting the slider door back up, so I have all. I feel like I've been painting for like two weeks, days and days and days, like between the cabinets and the steps and all the um, tongue and groove and filling nail holes and then <laughs> and, stenciling and. And you're not even close to done. And yet. now Tom just put up <laughs> the rest of the trim, and now I need to paint that 
prime it and paint it. Yeah, and the, <laughs> the baseboards aren't nailed down. I'm gonna pull those up to paint them because that would be hard to do it on the ground. But yeah, I just had, I have more to do. So I, I mean, I thought like, hey, we could do a reveal this week. There's no physical way we could have had it all done. But I do feel like we're getting close to being done. So I need to finish up the trim around the door. Then once I get around the door painted in the board um, for the sliding door, then Tom can put the slider back up. We still very much like that slider. It was like $40 on Amazon, super cheap. I'll link to it down the below. The slider mechanism, not the yeah. door. But like at the hardware store, they're like over Dude, they're a 100? Lot. I don't know. No, the one at Amazon was fantastic. Heavy duty has worked great. And then we found the door at the building material outlet. Yeah. And I'm going to paint it the same white to match the trim and the tongue yeah. and groove. It's just a touch off. -white. We never had finished it because we knew we were going to be pulling it off and redoing mm -hmm. this whole space. So. so I think one of the only things left for Tom to do is the outlets all need to be wired in and then the counter. We did decide um, just to seal it the natural color. Yeah, yeah. So, so it looks just like the camper counter. Oh, and I guess there were some questions too. So Tom's gonna drill holes, cause they're like, how are we gonna get to the outlets on the cabinets? <laughs> yeah. Um, we're gonna run cords from the front yeah. down and into the front of the cabinets. That would look cool. <laughs> Tom's gonna drill holes through the countertop. So there'll be three holes into each through cabinet. Through the counter and the cabinet, straight down and then into the plug-in. Yeah, so I like that. It'll keep it cleaner on the counter. Mm -hmm. I don't have to see any of that stuff. So. I think that's one of the last things that you have to do and then put up the last light fixture. <sighs> you must not think that I watch your videos because I did happen to notice that you told everybody <laughs> that you want to redo that other bathroom. <laughs> but you weren't telling me and I saw that. So. And then I also have two baskets down here under the sink and so it's not very pretty <laughs> down here. I would like to remodel this bathroom too, but I can't tell Tom that <laughs> yet. So we gotta finish the other projects. So yeah, that'll be for this winter. You did also mention that, wait, how long do you think winter's gonna be? <laughs> yeah. It is pretty long in Minnesota. <laughs> um, I like the stenciling. I'm happy with how it turned out. Tom liked it. I think all the kids like it too. I think they think it's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, no, they like it too. Yep. So I'm excited just to finally get everything back together, see how it looks all put together and yeah, be. Get all of our makeshift desks into one place. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for that. Yeah, we're excited about that. So it's gonna feel good to have it back together. So that's our plan for the long weekend. I would love to know, are you doing anything fun? Like I feel like we haven't had to do anything fun forever, right? Yeah, like two months. So I, I, would, I hope you're doing, we're not doing anything fun. And we'll go to my parents for a barbecue. That's fun, super fun. <laughs> but like, we're not like going to the lake or- They do live down the road. Yeah. <laughs> and we do go over there a lot. But so, still fun guys. Still fun. Um, but I mean, yeah, we're not doing anything cool. No, and it's actually supposed to rain for like three or four the days. The whole weekend. I think it's, it's sprinkling now. Yeah. And I think it's gonna rain until Tuesday. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool, but it'll give us a chance to finish up everything inside. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, so let us know what you're up to or do you have any projects you're working to get finished up? Uh, we need, we kind of need to plant our garden too, but. But it's gonna be raining for four days. Raining, so. We should have probably anyway, did that two days yeah, ago. Yeah, we should go do that now. I actually probably should have mowed the lawn a couple days ago too. Yeah, that's looking kind of long. Okay. I wish we could back up in time. <laughs> that would be a cool trick. Yeah. All right, so we hope you have a really great weekend. We always appreciate it when you watch and like and comment. Uh, we love reading your comments. They, they always make us smile and laugh. So mm -hmm. thank you for that. We hope you Sometimes have... they make me cry. That's not in, Not in a pleasant I'll way. I'll just look over and Tom's sobbing and then like, oh, you're reading comments again, weren't you? <laughs> anyway, all right. We hope you have a really great weekend um, and we will definitely look forward to visiting with you again soon.